In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a church flyer for Easter games like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel over here. We make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using. You might consider downloading them, practicing, and then if you are done, you can send it on IG or Twitter for me to check it out for you. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. All right, so I'll be using Photoshop 2021 to do this, but this should work with any version of Photoshop as well. First thing that we are going to do is we are going to create the project. To do that, you go to File and then New, and then you can create any project that you want to create. But in this case, we are going to go for a four by four inch because we are going to mainly use this for social media. When you are done, you go ahead and you click on create. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to establish the background. And honestly, the background, I was having quite some few doubts on the exact colors to use. So I'll provide a couple of colors and you may decide to use any one of them as you wish and leave in the comment section also which color you prefer the most. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to add a gradient overlay. So you go to the layer adjustment and then you are going to choose your gradient. These are the colors that I decided to use. This is one, another here, and there's another here. So if you want to use this one, you might actually consider using the hex code here and any one of them that you want to use, I'll provide the hex code also in the description. So once you select your gradient overlay, you go ahead and you click OK. Now you're going to change the style. So you change the style to radial and then you can keep it at reverse. Once you're done, you're going to click OK. The next thing we're going to bring in is our background. So you go to File, Place Embedded and inside the description, you can download the resources. This is the first background that we're going to use. So you bring it inside of Photoshop and then you can take your time to position it to any side that you want. Afterwards, you're going to double click on it right click and then you are going to rasterize the layer now we are going to turn this into a black and white so we are going to desaturate it to do that you hold ctrl shift and then u to desaturate it and then you go to the blend mode you set this to soft light now you can add a layer mask to this choose your brush tool and then you can brush off the areas that you don't want so in this case i'm just going to brush off the very edges something like this should be fine so we go back into the resource again place embedded and then we are going to bring in the next background which is a paint splatter so we are going to paste it over here we are going to also turn that or desaturate that control shift and then u to desaturate it and then you can go and change the blend mode also to soft light for this one you can decrease the opacity slightly so that the background can show a bit and then we add our layer mask as well and then we'll brush off the parts that we don't want and then we are going to bring in the last background that we're going to use and this is going to be um something that i got from pixels and pixabay so we are going to bring it over here you rasterize it desaturate it and then you can change that also into soft light for this as well you can decrease the opacity to around 74 75 you add your layer mask and then you can paste or you can brush the parts that you don't want and this is the background that we are going to use later on in this video we are going to add some elements that will complement or that will make the background way better now it's time to add our main test so for the test we used a 3d and i've already shown you how to create a 3d test in photoshop so i'm not going to waste my time on that i'm going to import the test right away so file please embed it and then we have our Easter games test over here. Now, because this is a smart object, we can actually change the color as and how we want it. That depends on you, of course. So you can bring this one in here. And if you want to change the color quickly, you can easily press Control U to activate the hue and saturation. And if you slide it, you realize that you're going to have different color. So any color at all that you want, you might consider using it. In my case, I'm going to consider using this particular color because at the end of the video, I'm going to try to change the colors and see which one matches the best. 
now you realize from here that the test is kind of blending in with the background so we need to make or create some light that is going to separate the test from the background to do that we're going to create the light underneath of the test so right on top or at right underneath of the test we are going to create a new layer so you select the layer right underneath the 3d test and then you create a new layer so you click on this plus sign over here to create a new layer what we are going to do is we're going to choose our brush to make sure that it is quite bigger a little bigger like this and you're going to make sure that your foreground color is set to the color white afterwards you click ok also you make sure that your hardness the hardness of your brush is zero percent and then you can left click over here to create a light but this light is too much for us so we'll go to the blend mode and then we are going to set this to overlay we can make one more duplicate so that it brightens some more and this creates a light that is going to separate the background from the test afterwards we want to add a couple of elements to the 3d test so we go into a file place embedded and then we are going to have this cloud png that i got from png ring so you're going to double click on that and then you are going to transform it to make it a bit smaller you can bring it over here right click and then you are going to flip this horizontal and then you can open it up slightly like that so that the edges will be here and then we are going to make one more duplicate to so ctrl j ctrl t to transform it you're going to right click and then you flip this also horizontal then we are going to drag it to this very side i can bring this one slightly over here and then you are going to position this one also over here slightly like that on top of these ones we are going to bring a local Ghanaian game that is known as owari so we're going to file please embed it and then i already saved it as a png for you so that you don't stress okay so you are going to position it right underneath of the easter games so you take your time to make sure that it is on the same line with the easter games and then you can push it slightly above like that you make a duplicate ctrl j ctrl t to transform it We're going to right click and flip it horizontal and then we can position it to the right side once we have this we can then go on top of the easter games and then we are going to bring in our uh, elements that will complement the games so we have some sports activities someone running playing volleyball and a couple of things so we are going to bring that in as well so file place embedded and then the first thing we'll bring in is this people playing volleyball so we are going to position it over here and then we'll bring the next one in as well so this sports items we are just going to bring in of course ghana we don't play most of these things but you know it is what it is so you are going to bring this one also here you double click on that and then the sports guy the guy running has to also come in so he is right over here we are going to place him on top of one of the players in the volleyball side so somewhere around here should be fine at this point we can go back into our resource and bring in our football so please embed it you bring in your football and you're going to resize it to the size that you want place it somewhere around here afterwards you go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then you're going to blur this a little bit you're going to make a duplicate of this so ctrl j to do that and then you can bring it to the left side over here and leave it somewhere around here and then you can flip this horizontally and then you click ok now you push it in slightly like that and this should be fine now i feel like this is going to or this is covering the games some more so i can push it down a little bit and try to push these ones down as well a little bit like that now after we're done with this it is time to add a test so for the test it's easy we're going to use poppins to do that so you choose your test tool and then you are going to type in your test over there you press ctrl t and then you can transform this slightly like that it doesn't have to be that big press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered and then you bring it down you don't have to make it or you don't have to keep it at the very edge of your design so you right click on this go to the blending options and then you can add a bit of drop shadow to it so that you can see it quite clearly from here you can then go ahead and add your logo the church logo so you go into our resource and then you are going to bring in the logo and then you take it right over here and transform it you can then group the two of these ones press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered 
after us you go for your test tool again and over here we are going to type in the dates the time and then the venue and then you are going to just make sure that the color that you choose over here is a bit darker so that you can see it actually because if you make it white since we have white over here it is going to be difficult for other people to see it so you are just going to choose something way darker and make sure that it is in the middle so control a and then you center it right over here from there you make a duplicate and then you can drag it down and then you can put any other information over there in this case it was the officiating ministers or the ministers that are in charge of this program so you bring their names over there as well and for this one since it is quite at the bottom you can double click on it and we can change the color to something like white which is okay and of course we can add a drop shadow to it so you go to the blending options and then you add a drop shadow and you can increase the size a little bit as well and then you can click ok and i feel like we have to do the same thing for this one as well and we can bring this down slightly like that as well and just like that you create a very simple games kind of flyer for your activities it can be for school church or any other program that you are working on but here is how to quickly change the colors the first approach is that you can go into your gradient overlay as i talked about earlier i wasn't quite sure of the color to use in this project so let me know your thoughts about this i feel like it's too much for me i don't know but of course you can go into your gradient overlay and you can play around with the colors this one looks very interesting to me as well and this one also is quite okay but in case you want to change the colors you just have to pick your color over here and then you are going to pick up any color at all that you want to use so you can go from this to that i think this is interesting and then you can go up here as well any color at all that you want to use you can change it to that color another way is to use the gradient overlay so you realize that we have from here to the bottom part is going to be our background okay so you can go to the layer adjustment and you can add hue and saturation to it and the more you drag this along the left and the right side it is going to create kind of different colors for you so you can use this as well to change the colors anyhow you want to and just in case you change the colors and you feel like the test is not matching up or the test color is not matching up you can also go and select the test color ctrl plus u to create the hue and saturation and then you can easily drag to change the test color for this as well so yeah that'll be pretty much it for this video i hope you gained value out of this if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated don't forget that the link to download all the resources will be in the description so you can download them and practice it and yeah if you enjoyed this video subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye